payments in a month. A new player in phone services, ESV and British Telecom, announce a joint venture. And Ireland at the bottom of the EU class for pupil-teacher ratio. Good evening and welcome. A court in Amsterdam has ruled that one of the main suspects in the Veronica Guerin murder investigation can be extradited from the Netherlands to Ireland. 31-year-old Brian Meehan, who was arrested by Dutch police in October, was described in court as the driver of the motorbike used in the murder. He now has two weeks to lodge an appeal to the Dutch Supreme Court against today's decision. On October the 10th last, Brian Meehan was arrested outside Amsterdam railway station by a special snack squad of the Dutch police working in cooperation with the Gardaí. Two weeks ago, three judges of Amsterdam District Court heard the Irish authorities request for Meehan's extradition. During that hearing, he was described as the driver of the motorbike used in the murder of Veronica Guerin. This afternoon, the Amsterdam court delivered its ruling on that extradition request. The rechtbank heeft de uitlevering van Meehan voor alle feiten toelaatbaar verklaard. The court has granted the extradition of Mr. Meehan for all the offences. The three judges rejected Meehan's claim that he would not receive a fair trial in Ireland because of media coverage of the Guerin murder. They also ruled that warrants linking him to the importation of almost four tons of hashish from Holland to Ireland using a Cork shipping company between July 1994 and October 1996 were in order. At the end of the 15-minute court hearing, Meehan objected to the conditions of his detention. Since he was arrested on October the 10th, he's being held at Vught High Security Prison, 60 miles south of Amsterdam. Meehan told the three judges this afternoon that he was being denied both visits and telephone calls from his family members. He repeated his claim of a fortnight ago that he is innocent of all charges. Meehan's parents were in the public gallery today. He waved and blew kisses at them, but was not allowed to meet them. His lawyers now have a fortnight during which they can appeal today's decision to the Dutch Supreme Court. Tommy Gorman, RTE News, Amsterdam. Five army recruits have been injured in an explosion during weapons training at Kilworth Camp near Formoy in County Cork. One of the recruits, a woman, suffered injuries to her hand. She's been taken to the regional hospital in Cork by military ambulance. And I'm joined now on the telephone by army spokesman Captain Owen Onyakthan. Captain Onyakthan, can you give us any details about the condition of the injured? Well, at the moment, uh, our knowledge is that four of the soldiers concerned, four male soldiers, have been transferred to the military hospital in Collins Barracks in Cork and have been described suffering from superficial injuries and shock. The fifth, uh, as you mentioned, a female soldier, has been transferred to the regional hospital in Cork and I understand that she's undergoing surgery at the moment to her arm and at the moment we have no exact details as to the nature of her injury. Uh, could you tell us a little more about what kind of training exercise was involved? Well these recruits were, had just completed their recruit training and they were doing what's known in the army as a two to three star course and they were doing an all arms weapons course involving 60 millimeter mortars in a night training exercise on Kilworth ranges. Apparently this explosion happened shortly after six o'clock and as you mentioned uh, there was an army ambulance at the scene which is normal for this type of exercise to transfer the female soldier straight away to the regional hospital in Cork and military vehicles transferred the other soldiers to the army hospital in Cork. So what might have gone wrong? Uh, it's a, a very hard to say at this stage. Obviously, it's early days in the investigation, which incidentally has already begun involving military police personnel and members.